important to know what Cognizant is thinking about the IT sector. We've got them at NASCOM. In fact, our colleague uh, Kritika Saxena caught up with Malcolm Frank, the uh, Executive VP Strategy and Marketing at Cognizant. Uh, listening to a slice of the conversation, she began in by asking him about the growth outlook for Cognizant for the IT industry. There's the slowdown in legacy and then the acceleration in digital. So that's where firms need to position themselves for that shift. From a cognizant perspective, the first quarter calendar of 2017 is certainly a healthier, more stable environment than it was in 2016. In 2016. Yes. So 2017 would be a better year than 2016. Well, it's still early. I mean, we're, we're early February, so, but um, at least what we can say in the first half of the first quarter, uh, in our context, um, we're seeing things starting to really stabilize around what we see in the business. Okay. So if I look at your uh, full year guidance of 7.9 to 10 percent, uh, uh, it's a wide, wide-ish range. If I look at your numbers, it's 8.6 percent. On the higher end, uh, it would mean that 2017 would be better. But uh, is this a cautious guidance in that case that you've given? Right yeah, it now? is. It is. And it's, it, the caution is really driven by what we experienced as a firm in 2016. Um, you know, we in terms of had to bring the number down over the course of the year so we are being appropriately cautious as we enter the year and i think is also a result of what we're seeing across the industry as well um let me then ask you about uh, the trump administration a lot of talk about protectionism you are at the heart of where the conversations happen yep. um firstly the new visa bill the increase uh, that has been proposed is significant uh, from sixty thousand dollars to almost <coughs> one point uh, almost a double increase that you're looking at. What I want to understand from you is uh, what is the impact or estimated impact in terms of margins? Uh, um, analysts have given rough estimates uh, for Indian IT players, uh, for the TCS, uh, Wipro, uh, Infosys of the world, 2.5 um, to 3% at least in terms of a margin impact. Would that be a fair estimate? Um. We've modeled it out for ourselves. We've modeled it out for the competitors, for the whole market. Okay. Um, some of those numbers would be correct, but this is all hypothetical. Um, you know, it's it's a dangerous business we've learned to be in of trying to predict politics. Um, yeah. And you know that. But you have to be prepared. Oh, totally, yeah. absolutely, and and you know, so so we have run through the modeling, the different scenarios. Okay. Um, so we've we've been very active in terms of how we would react ourselves as an organization, okay. how we think the industry needs to react. Uh, we've been very active in terms of conversations in Washington. So based on the numbers that you've worked with or you're working with or you have modeled, uh, what is the impact on margins that you are prepared for or impact on numbers as a whole that you are prepared for? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not comfortable saying that publicly just because I think it would be irresponsible to do so. We just don't it's know. conjecture at this point. Isn't it? It's pure conjecture. The fact of the matter is that uh, protectionism concerns have increased after the new administration yeah. has come in. No question. No question about that. The U.S. clients are not right now fearful of doling out contracts. No. No. I mean, hostile, fearful, those are strong words. Um, you know, they, they always have risk they need to manage and mitigate. Um, yeah, I think they're certainly paying attention to this issue. You don't think it's as uh, extreme... Yes, it's not. It's still conjecture at this point. Yeah. Okay. As far as the uh, ongoing investigation, uh, as far as the India business is concerned on improper payments, uh, you have recently made a uh, declaration on uh, how the uh, uh, amount is about $6 million, which is a million dollars higher than what was anticipated earlier. Can you take me through? I understand that this is a sensitive issue and the investigations are ongoing. But uh, so far, can you share with us what has been the finding of that investigation? And where does India stack up right now as far as that investigation is concerned? Yeah, it's, um, it's ongoing. It is sensitive, so there's only so much I can say, and I hope you can appreciate that. Um, but this has now been going on five, six months. It's been very thorough. So uh, we self-reported. Uh, it's been driven by our audit committee. We've had outside lawyers driving through this, and there hasn't been a stone unturned. So it has been very, very thorough. And you're right. Um, you know, what we reported several months ago was approximately $5 million. Um, through looking at everything, that grew to approximately $6 million. But it's something that we've taken very seriously and, and candidly we've been upset about. But at the same time, it is contained. Um, and it is one that hopefully, as the process goes, we can get it behind us. All right. That's the management of